Welcome to the Surrendered Strength Radio. As Christian men, we are called to surrender our lives to Jesus. To surrender to Jesus means to give in, not to give up. We are called to use our strengths, abilities, and opportunities to grow and prosper. We are called to strengthen ourselves, our families, and our communities. We are called to be disciplined, courageous, and honorable. This is Surrendered Strength. What's up, brothers and sisters of Christ? How are you? It is another episode of the Surrender Strength Radio. I'm your host, Nylon Lansing, and today's episode is going to be a a very raw episode in, in that there is very little, if um, any, I mean, I didn't, I'm not writing down notes. I do have some version or verses for us to uh, think about and go over, but today is really just, I've been dealing with some stuff and I want to, I want to get it out there not only just to get it off my chest, but to uh, also uh, help me uh, do better and hopefully help you guys do better as well. Because we are in a, in a spiritual warfare. Now, I mean, we are in the middle of a battle and, and that is evident if if we are paying attention and the, the past few for, for sure the past few weeks I've been just attacked and it's, it's been fairly consistent and I haven't been able to shake it. So uh, first and foremost, I would ask for, for prayers uh, that I would appreciate that. I don't, I'm not, I haven't figured out what exactly the attacks are and, or where they're coming from or, or or any of that. So any, any prayers would be, would be helpful. Um, but as I've been thinking about these attacks and, and just thinking about what, what I need to do, what I can do to help overcome them. I mean, like any, any attack, it is, it is, you know, making a, a, or putting a wedge in relationships, uh, just my day-to-day life. And it's, it's been challenging to say the least. So I want to share with you some things some verses and uh, just kind of, I'm just going to talk about what's, what's been going on with me and, and uh, hopefully this helps you guys, helps you understand some of the things that, that uh, you guys are going through. Um, It might not be the same, same issues, the, the same attacks, but we are, again, we are in the, we are in the middle of a battle. And we need to be prepared, you know, as we, as we, uh, as David and I talked about last week, you know, the first step to becoming a, a good warrior is to know that you're in a battle. If you don't know that you're in, in the fight, then how are you going to, you know, even be prepared? How are you going to even fight? You know, you have to know that you're in it. So, Let me uh, read some stuff. And this is coming from Galatians chapter five uh, verses. Looks like 16 through 24. And we're talking about talking about keeping in step with the spirit. But I say, walk by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the desires of the flesh are against the spirit, and the, the and the desires of the spirit are against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other, to keep you from doing these things, doing the things you want to do. But if you are led, but if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident: sexual immorality, impurity 
sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissension, division, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against, against such things there is no law, and those, who are, and those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. So, I'm sure if you read the Bible, obviously you've read that and are aware, and I'm sure you've heard some of the, the fruits of the Spirit. Um, but as I was reading through that a little bit ago, there's a couple of the, the spirits of the flesh that stood out to me that, that have really been what I've been struggling with recently. And that is, um, bits of anger, um, and, uh, what was the other one? Division. And it's it should should be no no surprise that that those are both spirits of the flesh and and ways that the enemy attacks us and separates us and keeps us from the the fruits of of the spirit of God and you know we need to be aware obviously the the list of the uh, spirits of the flesh i mean they go from from pretty pretty deep and pretty dark to you know maybe not maybe not so deep and, and not so dark you know we're, we're talking about sexual immorality um drunkenness orgies i mean those are some major things that you know, for for someone that's been a Christian for a, a long time, those shouldn't be shouldn't be any issues. Um, even for newer Christians, those shouldn't be any issues. But for maybe for a new Christian who is still battling the spirits of the flesh, battling this world, and still breaking those bonds, those might be some some issues that you're dealing with and, and just some of the attacks that you are dealing with. I know when, when I first started turning from, from my worldly ways, you know, drunkenness, drunkenness was one of my challenges. Um, you know, I was never an alcoholic, but I definitely got drunk. You know, throughout college, I was drinking a lot and, and it just, you know, it came came down to a point where I ended up spending a night in jail, and that's that was one of the uh, turning points in in my life. But you know, now I don't have I don't have hardly ever any desire to drink. That's not any issue that I have anymore. But there are still battles of the flesh, which. I would say that we continue, we will continue to, to battle throughout our entire lives. And it could be any, any one of these. I know envy is, was listed. That's another one where, you know, there's, there's days where I feel that, that envy trying to grab a hold of me. But luckily I've been able to, for the most part, combat it. Um, but most recently it's just been these, these fits of anger and, and, uh, lack of self-control. That's a, that's another thing that I've noticed that, you know, it doesn't list lack of self-control in the spirits of the flesh, but it lists them in, in the fruits of the spirit. The, that's the last one, self-control. You know, we are called to be self-controlled and, um, you know, these, these fits of anger that I, I get, 
when it comes that lack of self-control is something that that comes with it. And I say things that I would prefer not to say. And so that's, that's just some, some of the things that I've been dealing with. And, and with that comes the division that I talked about where, you know, it's, it's coming between the relationships of my kids and my wife and, and, you know, I've been, I've been praying and it's, it's gotten better. Um, there was actually a, a few good days where, where I felt like I was winning the battle. Um, obviously with, with God's grace and God's help. And then today, I don't know what was going on, but obviously the attacks were, were hot and heavy because all day I was just feeling like, you know, I, nothing was going my way and my kids were in my way and everything I was trying to do, I just didn't seem like, didn't seem like I could do it even though I was doing it. I was still doing all the things that I wanted to do. Um, maybe a little slower than expected, but I got everything done that I wanted to do. But there was still this, this feeling of, of, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. Just this feeling that it, you know, things weren't going my way. And, and again, it's something that I've been dealing with and I, I'm just want to share because, you know, I know I'm not the only one and, you know, maybe it's not, again, maybe it's not the fits of anger, but maybe it's uh, jealousy, rivalry, um, or any of the other lists. You can, you can read it yourself. Again, Galatians chapter five, verses 16 through uh, 24, go through that and see, see what it is that you are being attacked with because like I said, we're all being attacked and we need to be aware of, of how the enemy is attacking us and, and how, um, how our past is, is always, you know, the, the devil is always trying to bring up the past and, and really use that against us. Uh, some people call them wounds. Um, and again, those, those wounds could be something that we, we did, or we, we did to ourselves and it could be something that somebody else did to us. Um, but the enemy is always going to continue to bring those back up and try and use them against us. But the longer we can use the fruit of the spirit, which is, again, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, the longer we can use those com to combat the, the attacks and use scripture and, and just trust in God and, and use our faith in Jesus to combat the attacks, the less those attacks, the less impact those attacks have on us. Um, you know, again, it's, it's been, um, I guess 12 years now since I graduated college. And, you know, when I first got out of college, again, the, uh, drunkenness was, was an issue for me, but over the, the past 12 years, I mean, it's essentially gone. I mean, there's, there's hardly ever any desire for me to drink, even, even a drink. And usually, usually it just doesn't even sound good. So, you know, the devil, the devil can't really use that anymore, but there are definitely other things that the flesh and the, the enemy can use to attack. So I want to got want to just make you make you all aware of these things and you know just take some time to to really take a look at what's going on in, in your heart, in your spiritual life, and see, you know, is your 
is your life lining up more with the fruits of the flesh or lining up more with the fruit of the spirit? And this isn't a, this isn't another attack on you. Um, this is just a check-in, you know, it's time to check in and see where you are. Uh, a few podcasts ago, we had heart checks, we talked about heart checks and, and, you know, just basically taking a check in and seeing where you are in your heart. And this is just another opportunity. Where are you, where are you at in your heart? Where are you at in your spirit? And, uh, you know, we, we are moving in the direction of living the, the fruit of the spirit, which again, the love, you know, loving ourselves, loving, loving other people in the way that God loves us, in the way that, that God loves other people, the way this world loves everyone, where you can do whatever you want. No, we are, we are called to a higher standard. Um, but to have that, have joy that, that comes from God, have peace that comes from God, that we know no matter what happens, it's all going to be okay because Jesus has conquered the grave. Um, and we, we can have patience, we can have kindness, we can have goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And, and what a life that is to have all of those and to, to be able to, to just lean into those and, and, and go throughout your day with self-control, with faithfulness, with kindness, with love, with peace and joy and patience. So again, I'm just, just putting it out there, just sharing what's going on in, in my spiritual life, what's going on in my heart, What's going on in my my life, so that you know that hey, I'm not I'm not perfect. I still need Jesus. We all need Jesus. We all need God's love, God's grace, God's mercy. And if if you are feeling the attacks, or if you are struggling with some of the the desires of the flesh, then you know it's time to time to check in, get help, ask for prayers. Um, obviously stay in the word, continue to communicate with God through prayer. Um, but stand, stand with, uh, some brothers or sisters have some people be praying for you and with you to, to help you. You know, we need, we need help and it's good to be able to send someone a message and say, Hey, this is what I'm dealing with. Pray for me. And, and no, you know that they'll pray for you. So it's good to have those people. And I would encourage you if you don't have those people, those people are right here. I'm right here. Um, building a, a community of other, other men who will pray, who will, who are, in a in this battle together a group of of men who are living the surrendered strength life the surrendered strength code who who are developing their discipline who have been on this journey already who are disciplined they're not perfect you know like i said i've been doing this for um probably six or eight years. I don't remember the exact year that, uh, I, I finally broke down and, and got baptized and gave my life to Christ. Uh, but you know, it's, it's a journey and it's going to be a journey till, till the day I die until the, the day that I get to go to heaven and, and be in God's glory. Um, so, don't don't ever think you're you're not good enough. Don't ever think that you know because you're not where you want to be that you're not not adding up. Because God has a plan. God has a process. Um, that's honestly that's another one that I've been struggling with. 
there's there's things that I want to do, things that uh, I've been working on for years now. And it just seems like uh, partly my fault that they haven't come together, but they just haven't come together. And, and just leaning into God, just trusting that God is, is, you know, going to fulfill the promises that, that he's promised. And I don't have to doubt that, um, but that doesn't make the uh, process any, uh, that makes it a little easier, but it's still, there's still that challenge of, of, you know, waiting and, and it is good. God is good. The wait is, is good because when the wait is over, it's going to be better. It's going to be great. So I just want to encourage you all to continue to walk in the fruit of the spirit, walk with, with Christ and continue to battle the desires of the flesh. We know that, that the attacks are coming. Be prepared. Stay in the word. Be praying. Build that community of people, of believers that will pray with you and for you. And again, I'm here. You can uh, reach me on Instagram, Surrendered Strength, uh, Facebook, Surrendered Strength, whatever whatever it is if you need prayers questions comments reach out i would gladly gladly uh, get back to you and, and just have a conversation or, or if it's just prayers pray for you so with that i just want to remind you to remain disciplined in your body your mind and your spirit encourage others to do the same and by doing this we honor and glorify Thanks for listening to the Surrendered Strength Radio. Connect with me on Instagram and Facebook at Surrendered Strength. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share, and live the Surrendered Strength Code. Discipline, courage, honor.